All right, it's Chris here. Just a quick demo here now. I'm going to switch from Windows here on the Cube i6 into Android and let's just see how long it takes. And I will not be cutting this video at all. So it could be long, so be prepared to skip ahead maybe on the video. Long and perhaps boring. You are about to sit, is what it says. Obviously, it's meant to say you're about to switch operating systems, I think. Now, I've just resorted to using the flashlight and turning the lights off to try and cut down on the reflections for these videos because it is quite troublesome to have the uh, light on the top of the ceiling reflecting all over the screen. So it's now booting into Android. Let's just see how long that's going to take. Hopefully not too long. All right, so there we are in Android. And one of the great things about this ROM is you can see that it looks completely Nexus like it is just completely stock there are no bloat apps where where's the bloat i mean there's nothing there's everything there is pretty much all google i can't okay well es file explorer they've added um facebook but really it's very very stock which i like to see i don't want it full of chinese bloat so that is and that's very appealing okay so that was the boot time now what happens if I switch back into Windows, how long is that going to take? Well, let's do that now. All I need to do is swipe down and click on OS switch here. And is that registered? No. Yes. Here we go. Rebooting. You can just see. Now let's see how long it takes to switch into Windows. There's a little bit of text here at the top. Something to do with the BIOS. Obviously the BIOS switching over. Okay, I assume that reads cube. Uh, I don't know any Chinese, but I'd say that would this would read cube or let's see how long this takes. There we go, booting into Windows. That wasn't too bad. I will test this against the the Onda and the Cube to see which one is faster at switching. So there we are, we're back into Windows here now. And um, that was relatively quick. Okay, so that's the video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and do subscribe. I will have more upcoming videos of this Cube i6 uh, versus these other two tablets here. Thanks for watching.